Demonias would first notify the nation's telecommunications regular, Anatel, who would then instruct operators, including Musk's own Starlink internet service providers, to spend users' access to X. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, You've got to shut down your own app. Um, how cringy he is. And if anyone says Elon Musk, you're <laughs> like, they've either never seen his tweets or they're a freak yeah, who yeah, likes his tweets. So it's, it's a good barometer. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I've developed this like sense response and that when i see just his picture i can smell something like it's actually like it's like a physical physical response it's it's stale it's like it's like you know have you ever have you ever slept in a room with all your windows closed and you wake up and you can just smell bad breath yeah it's like that it's just like oh where am i it's like oh that's that's the bedroom yeah yeah so read this out oh okay so there's a lot of law to this we're gonna have to explain but grok which is his, his great AI tool that he has on Twitter. I've actually never used Grok. Maybe we should use Grok. Yeah, it could be um, good. Anyway, generate an image as if Voldemort and a Sith Lord had a baby and he became a judge in Brazil. It's uncanny. So he's angry at this judge in Brazil, but this is his like, oh, he fucking owned him because yep. he looks like Voldemort and a Sith Lord at the same time. Wow. He actually looks kind of cool. Which looks very cool. Did he edit the lightsabers in? I think he just put lightsabers on. Yeah, he's. I think he did this. And it does actually look more than a, like a Photoshop than a Grok image. It's not Grok. It's obviously not an AI image. It's a Photoshop image. He's not holding these. These are cut out like without any. Oh fe- no, that's what he's saying. With yeah, zero yeah. feathering. Yeah. He's. I, I don't know if he's claiming that it's made on Grok, but because if he is, that's hilarious. Because then he spent time actually making this himself on Photoshop. <laughs> He's laughing. hustling and grinding. He's got, got a lot of work to do, bro. He's a billionaire. He doesn't have time to edit, to Photoshop posts for his stupid TikTok. What? Please? It's somewhere in Brazil. Yeah, he just edited lightsabers and a coat onto... Um... Yeah, he did say it was Grok. <laughs> Why did he say so he lied He's about that? He loves that. lying. It's like just as bad as those people being like, oh, my three-year-old just said something really, really smart and like completely unrealistic. Oh, I love that. Um, it's like that. It's like my my um, my AI um, software, which is really really good and like advanced, um, just created this image. One of my first posts um, when I did a thing wasn't a big channel at all on Reddit. It was me being like, uh, uh, I randomly found this channel and thought it was like really cute. Like <laughs> I, I thought I thought you guys would like it, and I'd like post my own shit, and everyone would be like, "Get the f- out of here, self poster!" <laughs> like, oh, that's so mean. <laughs> So uh, it's like that. Um, I remember that meme. The the bay caught me sleeping. Oh, that's good. That was beautiful. Where they take a photo with oh, their foot. Not, yeah, yeah. We had a good version of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, but don't show take that. Take a photo with our dick. Yeah. Um. Okay. So what is this actually thing? Why does he hate this Brazilian um judge? I don't know. Please tell me. Okay. Well, let's look it out. There's this one. There's a lot of explanations. A lot to read about. We can we can generalize, but might might as well just go through the article because this one's a good article about it. Um, it's a showdown between the world's richest man and a Brazilian Supreme Court judge. <laughs> the justice, Alexandre de Moraes, has threatened to suspend social media giant X nationwide in the upcoming hours if its billionaire owner, Elon Musk, doesn't swiftly comply with one of his orders. Musk has responded with insults, including calling de Moraes a tyrant and a dictator. Uh, it's a months-long f- flu. That looks like schlong. Um, it's a months-long feud between the two men over free speech. Far-right accounts and misinformation. The deadline for compliance is fast approaching and many, Brazil, many in Brazil are waiting and watching to see if either man will blink. So, earlier this month, X removed its legal representative from Brazil on the grounds that Demarais had threatened her with arrest. On Wednesday night, local time, Demarais gave the platform 24 hours to appoint a new representative or face shutdown until his order is met. Um, so there's a Brazilian law saying any foreign company has to have a legal, represent, legal representative in the country. Because yeah, that's fair. If something happens, they need to be able to communicate. Well, it says here. Yeah. So they can be notified of legal decisions and qualifiers to take any record That's 100% action. So it's just fair. like, if you're yeah. doing business in this country, you need a legal representative yes. in there. So like, so they have someone to talk to and be like, oh, look, this might be against the law. Yeah. What are you doing to rectify that? What's this thing? And um, X, the everything app, doesn't want a, doesn't want a legal representative, um, which I think is, is really funny because... Um, <laughs> It's just in, until last week, 10 days ago, there was an office here. So this problem didn't exist. Now there's nothing. Look at the example of Telegram. Telegram doesn't have an office here. It has about 50 employees in the whole world, but it still has a legal representative. That was a just, bad example, Telegram. No, but that's, that's, good, for, that's good for Brazil. Because it's yeah. just like even this thing, which is like this company is like the, the kind of poster boy for like unregulated social media. Even yeah. they have a legal representative in Brazil. And I don't think that's a law in Australia. 
I think we have plenty of companies that operate that we can access here that don't have an office. Yeah. They don't have to have an office. Yeah, I think it's a more legal like a, someone, oh, okay. yeah, some kind of lawyer they can talk to on yes. behalf of the company. Yeah, um, yeah, lots of places without an office. That's um, yeah, hello. it's nuts. Um, so yeah, he's just he just doesn't want the legal person in there. Um, now, and it's just weird because uh, the the midterms or some kind of some kind of election, maybe local municipal elections in Brazil are coming up, and obviously Twitter's been like really radical on the Brazil stuff. They um they post just like the dumbest conspiracy theories, like Lula's drinking kids blood and on like migrants are killing people which is weird because like the fucking migrants in brazil <laughs> anyway um <laughs> the whole country is migrants um yeah it's nuts and yeah so like they want to control this misinformation which you know is a bit dodgy in itself but there's other weird exploitation and stuff happening on twitter i think the 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 strange part is with this kind of stuff is that like obviously there should be a limit on on how much governments can influence social media platforms yep but at the same time, you are doing business in Brazil. Yes. Like you have a business and you're making money um, from being here. Like every country has different laws. And it's just like you can't turn it into your own like personal vendetta if you just don't comply with laws of, of these countries that, no. you, that you want to make money from. And it's hilarious that his response is always such like a lame personal attack mm -hmm. on these people. It just all, everything reminds me of him calling the... The, the guy that tried to rescue the Thai kids, a pedophile. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, that is his default response. Like, well, he's just lame an joke. He's like an insecure little weirdo. But, man does look like a Sith Lord. But so, that's, not, that's not an insult. No, he that looks is actually, a cool thing. He does look cool. Yeah. He is a lot hotter than Elon Musk. Demon Ice would first notify the nation's telecommunications regular, Anatel, who would then instruct operators, including Musk's own Starlink internet service riders, to spend users access to X. That's awesome. Uh, you've got to shut down your own app. <clears throat> that includes renting the resolution of X's website. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, that's just how they would do it. Has X been shut down in other countries? X, in its former incarnation, Twitter, has abandoned several countries, mostly authoritarian regimes such as Russia, China, Iran, Myanmar, North Korea, Venezuela, and Turkmenistan. Oh, Turkmenistan catching strays. That's not fair. <laughs> China banned X when it was called Twitter back in 2009, along with Facebook. I think there's something really funny about China's bans of things. Because, um, right. like, there's different ways to look at it. Lots of people do it as, like, a, you know, authoritarian government wants to limit freedom of speech. And I think it's kind of funny because if you're in China, everyone uses these apps. Like, yep. you just have a VPN. That's completely fine. Like, yep. In my opinion, it's more of a capitalist move by China because they don't want any competition for their own 100%. tech companies. And I think that's very smart. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just like you just, you're playing the game everyone else is doing. And if, like... You see, America does exactly that. As soon as there's, if there's a foreign company, a Chinese company like TikTok that's taking a oversized market share or just any kind of money out away from American tech companies, they'll ban it instantly. What I do find very sad about it is that I don't like it that I only receive Chinese social media because an English person kind of dubs it and re-uploads it. Mm. It's actually very hard to view the apps myself. Like I would love it if I was just kind of randomly shown trends and On like videos from other Wait, countries. Or what, what? Yeah, because it's actually firstly very entertaining because it's a, often a different kind of humor that I mm. haven't seen in my, in my country. And yeah. it's nice that we're all connected. And then it is sad that it's like, oh, Chinese people all talk here. Westerners all talk here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like bad overall, but it's completely understandable that they do well, That's this. why you got to like, play War Thunder or... No, back, back when I was playing World of Warcraft, League of I was Legends. part of a Malaysian guild. League of Legends. Do you that's, remember what, we were in China and do you remember what we did? We were mm. in a random village and these kids saw a white guy and they invited us into their house and then he was like, translate, he's like, do you play League of Legends? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And we just played League of Legends Wait, together. Was, who was no better? talking. Was he good? I was so much better. He oh, was, fuck he yeah. was bronze. I was platinum at the time. So he was like complimenting me as, as hell. And I, I went 16 1 as Ezreal in his game. It was amazing. What the hell does that mean? It's a good score. It was oh. sick. Just a yeah, Chinese guy nice. and a white guy. No talking. You know what was really weird together. about China, though? Like, League of Legends is, um, uh, you know, cultural thing that you, that you can both share. What was up with them not knowing chess? Yeah, that was weird. What is that? Yeah. I, I, maybe it's a part of China we're in, but no one knew what chess was. No. We, we would take it out and, um, and play it on the train on our little board and everyone would gather around and start watching. And then people just start Googling 
rules of chess on their phone. And yeah. I'm just like, these ads are sorry, these ads are so annoying. <laughs> Everyone's talking about phase. how long does it take to lose 25 pounds with a chair workout at my age? We maybe we should do a stream. Wait, they think we're old. They know that we're streamers because we're sitting down. Maybe it's a mustache. Maybe that's what they're trying to. Yeah. Yeah, something. And why do they have tattoos? I think we should do a stream where we open up one thing and we have to click on the ads and do them whenever we see an ad. That's really good. As a distraction. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, there we well, go. We can just do this. So he did one of these. He's ripped. You can get that ripped from a chair. I hate wearing sneakers inside with no shirt on. <laughs> it's weird. No, this is good. Um, so. Um, anyway. So X is going to be shut down or has been shut down? He's it's, going, it's got 24 hours of literally just to install a legal representative. representative. Yeah. Which they're um, probably going to do. Why is Brazil so important to X and Musk? This is interesting. I've got no idea what this is. Brazil is a key market for X and other platforms. Some 40 million Brazilians, roughly one fifth of the population, access X at least once per month. Rookies. That Rookies. is a lot. One fifth? I don't think one fifth of Australians. Once per month, though. Man, I once got so scared. You know when your phone sometimes sends you like notifications of like, uh, your screen time usage, one f- a week. It was. It would have been a month. It'd be like this month. You use Twitter for two hours while driving. What the f- is that? I didn't think I used Twitter at all while driving. No, I don't think that's possible. I think you left Twitter open. <laughs> I don't know. That's scary. Oh, you just doxed yourself and you committed a crime, Alexa. Have fun with that. Well, if you're no, I'm not going to even. Don't, that never happened. I'm just going to say. Um, okay. Musk, a self-described free speech absolutist, unless you're criticizing Israel, <laughs> has claimed Demodice actions amount to, the, to censorship and rallied support of, from Brazil's political right. He also said that he wants his platform to be a global town square where information flows freely. He's, such a, he's just such a liar. It's so lame. The loss of the Brazilian market, the world's fourth biggest democracy, would make achieving this goal more difficult. Brazil is also a potentially huge growth market for Musk's satellite company, Starlink, given its vast territory and spotty internet access service in far-flung areas. Late Thursday afternoon, Starlink said on X that Demorais this week froze its finances, preventing it from doing any transactions in the country where it has more than 250,000 customers. Yeah. This order is based on an unfounded determination that Starlink should be responsible for the fines levied, unconstitutional, against X. I mean, this sounds weird, right? So you've got a problem with X, so you're trying to get money off of one of the other companies. Yeah. But this is a very common thing that happens around the world. You've got, you've got a legal ruling against a company. Like, like let's say what we're doing with Donziger. Chevron pollutes the Amazon, um, and the Ecuadorian government wins a ruling. They, they're meant to get $10 billion from Chevron. Chevron refused to pay them. So they try to go to other countries, and other countries are meant to take, if they have assets from that company... They're meant to take that and give it to yeah, Ecuador. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like X isn't going to pay you, but you have certain assets and infrastructure of Starlink in your country. You're like, oh, great. Well, we can yeah. take this as payment for, for this ruling. But it's also like, at the end of the day, it's still owned by the same man. And companies always do this where they create a arbitrary separation that is like legally binding. But mm. at the end of the day, it doesn't make Shell sense. Company, yeah. It's like... You talk to someone and they're like, oh, yeah, you set up a company and then if someone sues you, you, you're the shareholders of the company and you can't sue them. It's like, shut up. Yeah, shut like, up. What are these you, stupid you, rules? Yeah. Someone said something interesting. They said um, Starlink currently is chiefly used. I don't know if chiefly is true, but used in oh. Brazil to help illegal deforestation operations run smoothly. Well, I mean, lol. That was, that was like the biggest thing under Bolsonaro. They just like went ham on the Amazon. And it's yeah. like, I'm sure it's still happening under Lula just because like, is a pretty like but core part of the economy. I don't know how much Starlink is enabling them to do that. Well, just you get you, for any kind of organizational, fucking any kind of corporation, any enterprise, you have yeah. to have, be able to communicate stuff. Yeah, and it's you just, do. Obviously, you'd get Starlink if you were out in the middle of the Amazon cutting down the forest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, wait, 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 what's that? But the thing is, in the forest, there may not be Wi-Fi, but you can still get a connection. How good's that? Uh, Gandhi. <laughs> it's just one of those. It's one. Of, I still saw it on a shirt. It's one of those like, hip, I don't know. It's like good. like wine mum, but like hippie wine. Yeah, mum. I feel like I've read that exact. Show. I thought you were quoting someone I knew because I was like, "Is Alexa hitty got out?" <laughs> that was a bit hot, Alexa. Yeah, yeah. you aroused? No. Oh, you are. You got a bit of a chubby. That's not a chubby. That's my normal dick. Okay then. <laughs> um, just letting you know. 
Um, all right. So yeah, maybe X will be banned in Brazil. I hope so. And let's can we just not call it X? I'd never want to change it. I always want to call it Twitter. No, I like X. It's, it's I think it's funny because it's so stupid. It suits Elod well. Yeah, it's just X. It's yeah. just it's just like a dumb guy's idea of a smart thing. And he, the fact the funny thing is that he was constantly trying to name every one of his businesses X. Yeah. But he just kept getting voted out by shareholders. Like PayPal was meant to be X. Like his initial business before PayPal was meant to be X. One of his sons called his son is called, oh, is called X. X A E. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. What a loser. Can we move on. Yeah. Oh, this was an article I linked oh. to. Okay, nice. Well, I gotta get. I gotta get some food. You can order some food. Um, can you get me a little? What are you getting? I don't know. Let me mm. see. Actually, I'll run down. On that. So, uh, I think you want to hear about this I article, do, Alexa. An update on what? I already told them about my sword. That's all I've got. Well, since Alexa's gone, maybe we can look at fish news. What about fish news, everybody? Because Alexa hates me talking about fish. And what I want to talk about, he's coming back up. Okay. He's, 